Hello everyone, it's a quick talk about the not so new topic, which is uh, the language that's uh, allowed to compile to Nix, to produce Nix expression. So um, maybe you already heard of some, there is pure Nix that have a Nix backend. Uh, it's usually uh, a scale-like language that compiles to JavaScript. There is uh, DAL, a configuration language that have several outputs, and one of them is Nix. And there is a grid oh, integration between Nickel and Nix. And I will not talk to you about Guile, which is the language that use Gwix, even if Gwix rely on Nix demand, uh, because I can't find any way to uh, easily uh, turn uh, one Gwix package into a Nix package or other side around, because I don't know. I don't find it. Uh, I'm not sure why, because it don't it's not the same um, Nix package, Geek, Wix package construct, but I don't know. If there is something that exists, I don't know. Tell me. Um, then the question is why we want to do that. And the answer is it's really hard to do complex software using solely Nix. Um, and one example is if you want to do a parser, it's really hard to implement a parser in Nix. And there is one proof of concept of um, parsing cable format, uh, cable file, using only Nix without IFD, which is kind of an issue because then you have to uh, make your impl implementation comply to cable and, and maintain it. But anyways, that's a good example of why we could want that. But the real question, if uh, if we want to have a language that we use instead of Nix, we want to do with that language exactly the same thing we will uh, do with Nix. And to answer this question, we can just ask us about can we inline this language in Nix or can we use inline Nix in this language? And that just that I will try to answer here. And first, DAL. DAL is a really small language, really restrictive, and uh, it does not have the expressive power of Nix. It's total and just, you can't use Nix package construct into DAL. You can write DAL and turn it into a Nix and use it in your expression if you want to have one specific part of your code that does something, but it's not really, I mean, you can't really do Nix stuff with DAL. Um, at opposite, uh, DAL is not even Turing complete. There is PureScript, which is a full-fledged language, which, uh, OK, I, I would have half cross the checkbox, but there is no that in LaTeX, so OK. Um, you have this kind of FFI things that you can import arbitrary Nix expression into PureScript, and you generate Nix uh, with the Nix backend. But you have to comply your Nix expression with the strict static type system of prescript. So you can do Nix fancy stuff in your custom expression, but what you expose will be really simple. So it's half of it. And the other thing is um, uh, prescript which generate a full hierarchy of a lot of Nix file and you can't shape it how you want. You can inline it, but it's not easy. And you basically uh, just have a big attribute set, so you will have to write custom Nix to make a wrapper around it if you want to use it. And the last thing is Nickel, uh, which have, which it's, it's a bit of a cheat because it was made with this purpose in mind. So there is an experimental uh, toolkit integration. You can use it and it will do exactly what you want to do for a language that could replace Nix. Uh, it's experimental, it's hard to use, it's not really documented, but it exists and there is a bit of a lie here because Nickel does not really compile to Nix, it compiles to uh, JSON interpreted representations and then you load and anything. So I think there is other talks about that. And the thing is, when you use DAL or Prescript, you will have Nix code that looks like your DAL or your Prescript code. So if at some point you want to work on Nix directly, you can and you can commit and upload Nix code and just uh, have it another language to bootstrap rapidly your project. It's not the case with Nickel because you will not 
work on top of the intermediate representation. You have to keep working on nickel file, and that's uh, open question. And I'm not the right person to answer this question, which is what kind of language we can manage in expect wage because we have a lot of bash, we have a lot of nix, and right now the idea I think is more to handle this kind of stuff uh, behind flex. So yeah, and I. I basically deep dive into this subject for the purpose of the talk, so maybe there is uh, mostly wrong things in my slide. Don't hesitate to tell me. I will correct it and, and upload it with an error data. And if you want to ask me about a, a small uh, personal project, the project I have, uh, which is a, a scheme dialect that's compiled to Nix and have all the good property, you can ask me at uh, while the hack day and that's all. Thank you.